If you're going to create a Dropbox within my courses where you need high resolution image, you want to follow this tutorial where a student clicks on a text link to view the larger image. The image will open up in what's called an overlay, which means that it won't be blocked by a pop-up blocker. This also means that you can have a whole slew of high resolution images and it won't take up a lot of space and it won't take a long time for the Dropbox to, to load with all those large images in there. Now it's very important you follow this tutorial carefully and do not miss a step. You should also note that this tutorial assumes you feel, that you feel comfortable working within the source code of the HTML editor. If you do not, please contact my courses for faculty at spcollege.edu for help. Now there's a couple things you want to have in place before you begin. The first one is you want to have your files, your images uploaded to the manage file area and it's best practice is to put them in folders to keep them organized. You'll also need a, uh, to a set of HTML code and we'll get to that later on. So I've created my Dropbox folder and within the um, Dropbox instructions text area I'm going to click on the HTML source editor. I'm now going to highlight where it says iframe to iframe code. I'm going to paste that onto or copy that onto my clipboard. I'm going to paste it into the HTML source editor and I'm going to click save. I'm now going to type in the text that I want and I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to click on the quick link icon. I'm going to click on course files and again it's assumed that you've uploaded your images. I'm going to navigate the manage file area and find the image that I want. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight where it says target equals overlay and I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to go back into the HTML source editor. I'm going to highlight where it says target equals self. I need to find that and highlight it. I'm going to right click and do a paste so that now it says target equals overlay and I'm going to click save. Now I click save and close and I'll go ahead and preview this so you can see that when a student clicks on this text they get a larger image that shows up in what's called an overlay and they can close it and see it. So you can have as many as much as many of these links that you want. You can have whatever t whatever other uh, directions in there but this take, saves a lot of space and also uh, keeps from having to take a long time to download to see all of those images.